Coach, the midway point of, of spring practice, how, is, how do you feel like the team's looking right now? Uh, I think they look really good. I was really pleased with today. Uh, you know, our offensively, our goal was to have more explosive plays, and we had some explosive plays uh, in the scrimmage, you know, especially with our first group in there today. We were looking for, you know, establish a good running game. You know, there were some nice runs out here today, which was good to see. Defensively, creating some turnovers. Defensively, we caused three turnovers today. You know, had some nice interceptions, you know, did a nice job. Pressure on the quarterback is something we've needed defensively. We had some nice pressures today. You know, thought we did some good things. So, I mean, on both sides of the ball, saw some really good things. Kicking game, we wanted to work some punt game stuff. Thought our punters punted the ball very well. Uh, you know, have a new punter this year. You know, Nick madonia has gone. Um, Haydar Sedan, I thought, kicked the ball very well. Very strong leg. Uh, he's handled our kickoff duties, but not been our extra point field goal guy. I thought he was outstanding today, did some good things. And obviously there were some things to, to work on and correct, but overall a very good first full contact scrimmage for spring. And of course things always change when you bring the referees out and it wasn't sloppy. It was actually the team looked like it was mid-season form. Yeah, very clean. I mean, it looked more like a like we were in fall camp last year. You yeah. know, I mean, it lets you know that we've made progress and we were ahead, but it wasn't a sloppy scrimmage. Right. You know, there wasn't a lot of procedural things. and. You know, all those false starts, you know, and that type of thing. I mean, there were a few penalties. That's why you bring those guys out here or some things where they could say, hey, you guys need to move up on the line. You're too far in the backfield or whatever it is. But the very good feedback from the uh, officials, a good day for them because they're trying to train, you know, and that type of thing. Good day for us. But overall, I was pleased with that. It wasn't a sloppy scrimmage. I thought our guys uh, having the officials out here, I thought it went very well. And of course, there's the usual suspects of guys that are having had great days out here. Bailey Fisher, you had Andrew Goldsmith. Who else did you see that you thought had a fantastic day today? I tell you, we've had uh, three offensive linemen have had a great spring, and they had a good day out here today. A lot of times, you, they don't get stats. Yeah. You know, it's just yeah. based off how these other guys play. But Schaefer Almoy in a tackle has had an outstanding spring. He has really gotten himself in the shape he needs to be in. He's really transformed his body, gotten stronger. McKenna Thompson, who played for us as a freshman last year as well, has really had an outstanding spring. And Mike Rhodes uh, has had an outstanding spring uh, in there at guard. You know, so those three guys have had really, really good springs. Uh, been very impressed with Adam Browner at tight end. You know, he was a quarterback this time last year. We didn't move him until late in the year. He's done some nice things. Really, all of our tight ends, uh, when we've been able to keep them healthy, Tavin Kilpatrick, DJ Wilkes, uh, Clint Zerke's injured right now, but I've been really pleased with our tight end play as well. Defensively, there were also a lot of highlights as some guys made some big plays. Yeah, there were. You know, Shannon Thane's really having a great spring and getting our guys lined up. I thought defensive front-wise saw some good things. Um, you know, Michael Scavo, Seth Carlisle, uh, Derek Moore. Having a Derek, you know, Derek was injured last year. He hurt his ankle in the uh, Utah State game early in the year, missed like six games, only played in the last few, and he was really banged up, you know, playing those games. He's back out here healthy, has, has gotten, you know, has lost some weight. Uh, such a good leader, you know, and that's a big thing too, is uh, uh, the leadership of our older guys is, is outstanding right now. Austin Hicks, uh, don't want to leave him out. I know he's on that offensive side. I kind of left him out early, but boy, he's had a great spring. Uh, you know, he was ineligible last year from transferring back yeah. to us from UNA. He started off at Tech, transferred to UNA, come back here. Boy, he's played well. Out here during the spring, Seth Huner has had an outstanding spring. But, you know, defensively, I thought we ran to the ball well. Adami Adekunjo made some nice plays out there today at corner. He's had a really good spring, been really, really proud of him. So, you know, overall, I, I saw some, you know, I saw some good things on both sides of the ball and in the kicking game. And like you told the team right before the end of the practice, this is a big week coming up as you guys get ready over the last full week of spring practice. It is. It's the last full week before, you know, we really end up with the final exams and yeah. won't be back together, you know, until the summer. So it is a big week to take this scrimmage and make all the corrections that we can make from it and learn as much as we can. We're going to come out here on Tuesday and our Tuesday morning practice will be nothing but corrections. You know, we're going to try to correct any mistakes we made in this scrimmage before we try to move forward. Then on Thursday, we'll install a few more things we want to look at. Same thing with Friday. Next Saturday scrimmage will be much more situational down in distance oriented and we will probably feature a lot more of the you know, other guys that we're trying to make a determination whether they're going to be fall camp guys or not, or maybe, you know, potentially where they could be on our depth chart for us going into fall camp.